Uh, fuck. I'm late for my own stream. Fuck. Forgot to hit the start button. Fuck. I started talking and didn't realize it. <laughs> it was not recording, so. Uh, let's try again. Take two. Uh, welcome to OG Presents. I'm your host, OG, and this is another episode of Into the Fine. Uh, I'm sorry, Into the Pokeverse with uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, following the story of Pokemon trainer Giuseppe. We were doing our League Challenge in Sinnoh, and then all of a sudden we got transported into the past, and now we're in this place called Hisui. Things have happened, tutorials of a, a, a many. And now we're about to... Oh yeah, that's right, I don't have the preview yet. Ugh, <laughs> uh, I gotta be careful. Um, and now we're about to go talk to this uh, noble and, and see what we can do about that. And I'm in the water now, and I'm gonna die if I stay in water. Uh. I don't think it will be too hard, though. Our starter was uh, Cyndaquil. And I did transfer the Mons from Shining Pearl, but obviously I can't use them. Too high level. Don't want to either. But they're there. They'll join me at the end. I'm sure they'll come in handy. They have to be with me in the journey. They have to get the ribbon too. I think it's the way you just like take a picture with them to get the ribbon. I forgot his voice. I'm not doing voices this time. That hurt my throat. Um, so you say that you galaxy people came up with a method to try and quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy. You catch that, guys? What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods? It's a ball. <laughs> that fucking face. <laughs> so you can throw offerings at him? <laughs> well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. Thank you. Thank you. I am very unorthodox. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. Ugh, so much talking. Whatever your plan is, you need plump beans. My apologies. I've forgotten all about you. I admit. Uh, what was her voice again, too? I, I think it was like something ridiculous. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have your doubts. Oh, you want to battle me? Yeah, sure. There's just so much tutorial, dude. It's like so much text. I was talking to one of my friends. Like, I feel like the beginning of this game, after you've played it once, is just really long. Wow, her Pokemon are level 17. I'm gonna need to grind. It's also like that. Like, I'm gonna have to grind in a lot of these fights, because this is actually like, difficult. Although it's only one mom. So I don't know. Oh, I haven't mastered that move. Shit. Um, well, yeah, because it's probably going to kill me in one hit, so, like, honestly, it just makes sense to just get a strong hit in and get, get bodied twice. <sighs> it's a strategic exchange, in my opinion. Oh, that's right, I haven't made any. Shit. 
Oh, that would suck if I lose this. Um. Okay. I don't see an advantage in using quick attack over Thundershock. Shock. Does it have a chance to paralyze? What should I name this Shinx? Dead meat. <laughs> Doof. Oh, I should I should name this guy Doofus. Because he's a doofus. Um, I'm just gonna use regular rollout. Because I feel like that's the move. Now he's fixated on using rollout, so if, as long as he survives this move, yeah, we got the shooting bag. I'm sorry, what? Why did he get to move? Oh, because he probably. What? I'm confused. Did anybody understand what just happened? Am I missing something? What was that, Lisa? Well, luckily for me, I got this shit in the back. I feel like using quick attack is not smart enough to do that. Oh, Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you better heal my Pokemon after bodying them just now. I wonder if I caught any Mon from Shining Pearl that, like... <sighs> we're, like, low enough level I can use it now. Might give me a little bit of an edge. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. You don't have to tell me, Erida. She literally reiterates what we just talked about. Like, it, it... Oh, I didn't mean to start it now. Fuck! <laughs> Shit! No! This is such a hard fight! Uh... Oh, hello! What up? What up, peeps? I'm just now seeing the chat. But a lot of stuff is fluff. Yeah, 100% a lot of stuff is fluff. I think quick attack is stab. I think it's stab. Yeah, my day's, uh, my day's going good. I'm not, I'm not reading, I'm like, I'm skipping a lot of dialogue now. <laughs> Neveline Lord who works, yeah, 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 heavens and earth, beseech ye, reveal your eyes. I'm definitely gonna be fucked for this fight. I mean, she healed me after, so that's good, but... I mean, I guess I could just do it. I guess I'm not too fucked. As long as I just dodge once. Just not fight it. Yeah, I just won't fight it. I'll throw shit at it. That's such a cool intro. Like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, how do I get that? Okay. There you go. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Come on. Come on, run into the thing. Nope, that's not that's not the advantage to use. Come on. Come on, Holmes. Fuck!
bitch. You bitch! Oh! My experience in action games has paid off. In Dark Souls games. Ah! Oh, what's up, dude? You're really close to me. <laughs> yeah, just keep running into that tree. This is easily, like, without bar none, like, the easiest one. Because he does shit like that. I think Voltorb is the most annoying. And what else? Oh fuck! No! No 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 Uh Voltorb most annoying. Growlithe hardest. I mean not Growlithe, Archmon the hardest. It's so small the area they give you. Spoiler alert, right? Fuck! I got this shit, though. I gotta stop talking and focus now. <laughs> there we go. That was- it was the law of equivalent exchange. He got me, and then I got him. Let me see. Bloody stupid, man. Bloody... <laughs> that was so fucking funny. <laughs> Damn, man. If only I'd ha and only if I had answered them. <laughs> only I'd answer this. Oh man, it's fucking hysterical. I'm just like, <laughs> it made me so happy. Oh, uh, she like that's funny. Sure, it's been put at ease. I think it's been put at ease. What do you think? Maybe. May I'm gonna like imagine he's saying that sarcastically. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I feel like it's pretty obvious. Like, if you see bolts come out of the sky and then around this area it hits and then all of a sudden Cleaver starts acting crazy and you're like, oh dude, I wonder if it's death. I'm like, okay, well... Let's... And there's like a space-time rift hovering over Mount Coronet which is like one of the most sacred places in history. So like, I just like... Come on, man. <laughs> Outrageous! Calm yourself, Leon. Yeah, keeping Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon and Red Hunts. The true Almighty. Let me tell you about the true Almighty Sinnoh. Have you all heard the gospel of the true Almighty Sinnoh? <laughs> what even was that shit? <laughs> I wonder if they're connected. Hmm. <laughs> I only do things that need to be done. 
because I'm the protagonist. Get it, because everything needs to be done, because it's about the... Yeah. Funny joke! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me my shit. What did she give you? <laughs> oh, thanks. Some searchers berries. Fearfully strong. Oh, great! I get to go to back to Commander Kamado so he can tell me what a piece of shit I am for falling out of the sky, <laughs> out of my control. Oh my god! Why am I going this way? I can't go this way yet. <laughs> to go this way. Oh shit! It is funny how, like, you look at Pokemon in this game versus how you look at Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. Like, you look at Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet like, oh, sick, I can go and engage with that and battle with it, and, like... Or, like, if it's a shiny, you know? It's like, oh, damn, I can catch that shiny. It's, like, the normal way you would react. In this game, you're like, oh, fuck! It's gonna kill me! Um, so it's just, it's, it's very different. <laughs> Having to run from them versus to run towards them. I think it's amazing too what a what a like good job they did with that. It being such a contrast from the others. Quest! I told you I only do the things that need to be done, which is everything. Bjorn. Oh there! Mind helping a guy out? Sure. I'm after some cherry berries, you know them? Shiny red ones. I got some shiny red ones for you. They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. Just get a giraffe rig. Throw one of your Pokeballs at a, cher at a berry tree, and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you. Be sure the Pokeball you throw has a Pokemon inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did, it ju Did he just tell me not to throw a random Pokeball at it instead of throwing a Pokemon at it? Like, it's. I feel like at this point I know it's two separate menu options. Like, that's that's kind of funny. Oh, don't do this. I'm sorry. What? How did he level up? Where did that come from? <laughs> He just got random 15 XP and then leveled up. I didn't- I just sent him out for like two seconds. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Worth? I feel like it's always something I miss, though. I guarantee you. I guarantee you he did something. I mean... To say that stuff happens without reason. Uh, I'm actually gonna catch some on. No, actually, I'll go. I'll go talk to Commander Kamado so he can tell me what a piece of shit up. We're doing nothing. Although I want to look at my Pokemon. No, shit. Give me my mind. Bonafart. There he is. Can't use him now. Um, what is this, Psychic? This would be kind of fun to have. I feel like I'd never use it for any other reason. Like, there's no impetus for me to use such a mon, so... Sorry, Doof. I do like Doof, though. Doof came, Doof came in clutch. Yeah, 
Doof came in clutch, and I already have a Star Raptor, so. Same as Shinx. I feel like I can lose the Shinx for, like, the Bronze Ore, maybe? Or the Score Rupee. That would be hype. Get a Drapion. That would be cool. I like that. I can work with that. Okay. Yep. I can work with that. That works. It's a good variety of Mon for a team. Good ish. Good ish variety of Mon. It's sufficient enough. Yes! Yes! Look at all of that shit that I just got. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, it only gets me but so much experience. <laughs> That's kind of the cool thing, is like you can transfer Mon to Legends Arceus, but it's not like gonna buff you. It's not gonna give you a shit ton of experience for it. Because you're not filling out entries. You're just getting the like initial entry. Volo! I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be? Oh! <gasps> Those are two of the Fable Plates of Old! Please, let me have a look. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says, Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? you guys catch that? I see. So you were given these plates when you impressed Wordier and Cleaval. That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. <laughs> it's my guess that you will find more plates like this scattered across history. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on one, on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. It's Volo. Of course I do the Arden voice. <laughs> the cute little worm pole. The cute little worm pole. Okay. I'll do voices for, like, the important characters. But I won't do voices for, like, every single character like I was doing last time. Although Baggin might keep the same voice because he's a piece of shit. Scam artist. Quest! Talk to me, lady. Oh, splendid. You came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want something heavy thing from the pot. Okay. Cool. She wants a Geodude. Basically. So I gotta go catch a G if you need. I can do that. Kamado can wait. <laughs> Kamado can wait. Because I know it's gonna inundate me with a fuck ton of uh, cutscenes, so. <clears throat> I can gain some experience. Isn't there like a bottom floor? Wait a minute. Oh no, that's the main quest. This is what it looks like when you have ADHD and you're playing video games that have a bunch of shit to do. <laughs> hey, you have a Pokemon. You're not supposed to have one. 
Well, you on the spay corpse. Cool. The fuck? Okay. Great. The fact that they gave us three speed option. Oh, well, actually, no, no, because you have word here. So it is. It's like every game has been three speed, basically, since they gave us the running shoes. And then, so no, since they gave us, yeah, every every game was two speed until they gave us the running shoes. Then it became three speed. Walk, run, bike. And then... In this game, they finally introduced four speed, and we can't have it in the new games. It's a small break, but it's it's important. <laughs> Why did I come up here again? I need to search for more quests. All right, let's go catch you, G, dude. <laughs> oh, side quest. Talk to me, my man. Talk to me. What you got? I mean, talk to me, my lady. Oh, hey, listen to this. I saw something incredible in the wilds. Oh, it's incredible! What was it? The thing I saw was a will-o'-wisp, a ball of red fire! When I was walking on windswept run the other night, it leaped at me like... <laughs> What did it leap like you like? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh. That's, I can just, like, I'm imagining someone saying that to you. Like, seriously. Like, oh my gosh. When I, when I was walking on Windswept Run last night, I, it just leaped at me like, Whoa! <laughs> I just try to take that seriously. <laughs> there you go, Waka. OG Waka over there. <laughs> At it with the story again, huh? Don't listen to her, mister. My big sis always gets carried away with her fairy tales. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, I'm not making it up. I saw that will o wisp with my own two eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah? Then why don't you show it to me? Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> it's so frustrating he won't believe me. I honestly did see one. Say so you're with the Survey Corps, right? And I hear you're quite the prodigy. Pro prodigy. Prodig prodigy. God, I can, I can speak. I can read, guys. I bet you could ca easily catch a Will-O-Wisp. Willow the Wisp, sorry. Do you think you could catch the one I saw and bring it back here? The mysterious Willow the Wisp. Sure. I want the quest where I get a guaranteed shiny. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so happy, uh, I'll be so happy when we unlock, like, mass outbreaks and stuff in this game. Because that makes, like, the shiny hunting so much faster. Massive, massive, uh, massive mass outbreaks, rather. A big one. Alright, let's go. What is focus, even? I mean... I feel like I'm just gonna have to like keep an outline of the order of things I want to do on it <laughs> sometimes. Uh, otherwise, I'll just fucking lose track. Is that a balloon race? Ooh, do I dare? Do I dare take that on now? Let's do it. Fuck it. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's give it a try. Man, I got this fucking shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. 21, though. That's not bad. I think I probably could have done better. I don't know if I want to go for the full 30. That's be, like, crazy. I mean, the target is 17, so... I don't... What do you get for the 30 again? I don't know. I don't know. not caught a Geo dude yet. That's kind of crazy to me. Oh, the feather ball. The best ball. That's why it's the best ball. I don't have to arc it. <laughs> That's literally it. I just don't have to arc it. Um, oh snap, I can evolve my casting. Great. I also wish they kept that. Like it, it being a button that you activate the evolution versus it just automatically happening. Dust stocks. You got an idea for a new move, eh? But they kept that part too. Iron the ironic thing about that was that they kept that feature in where they can um bypass the whole automatically learning the move kind of thing. How much damage does this do? Um I like poison powder over iron defense. But I also like iron defense over tackle, so <laughs> it's like I don't know why I'm keeping tackle. Yeah, that's that's the move said. This thing's poison dart, but I don't mind having two poisons. Multiple fairy type coverage options there. Um, what was it? The Will-O-Wisp, right? There's Windswept Run? Where is that? How do I look at the map again? <laughs> Alright, Windswept Run. I must not have found that location yet. Maybe it's over here near the area? I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. Apologies. You know when it just like rains where you are and like it like screws with this like area? That's the worst. Hey big weasel. That's a big weasel. 
It's because it's not a weasel. <laughs> oh, fuck. No. Shit. Uh... I thought there was, it looked like on the map there was a place to cross here. Oh, I see. It's up the hill a little bit. So you have to, you do have to climb. That's a bit shame. Is it this thing? Is that the Will-O-Wisp? I don't know. I don't know where Windswept Run is. To the Horseshoe Plains! Oh my god, it's act- oh, fuck. Sorry, <laughs> that might happen a couple times. Um, until I get, uh, what's it called, Basket Legion. Alright, Windswept Run, is it this way? Near Horseshoe Plains, potentially? Hey, baby pony duh. No, that's just horseshoe planes. I wonder if down here is windswept land at all. I don't know, maybe you can't access that place. Or maybe this is it, right here. I didn't think of that, actually. Can you travel on that, though, or is it just cliff? Fuck, so many questions! <sighs> This is what, this is Aspiration Hill. Yeah, and this is where... <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Fucking run! <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> oh shit! Oh no no! Oh god, that was so funny! <laughs> that was... <laughs> that is so good! What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Snorlax really likes that tree. <laughs> God. Oh, fuck. That was funny. Oh, fuck. Stupid alpha. Uh, God, that was really funny. It's probably not as funny as I thought it was, but still, it was It's great. He just looks so derpy in that tree, like, <laughs> this big-ass Snorlax just like, I do a tree. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh, God. There you go, Norm. Helped you out. Alright, well, I don't know where Windswept Run is.
Thank you. Merit points I will take. Can I get- Ooh, I wonder if I can evolve Balda. She can become, um... Steelix. And then I have a Sneal- A Seal? Or a Sneal. A Steel Snake instead of a, um... Rock Snake. Not sure which is really better, but... I mean, Steelix technically both. I mean. Boulder, I feel like, performs a very niche role. Alright. Let's go talk to Kamado. Yeah. I couldn't find this place, so I gave up. I don't know where that place is. I'll find it later. Oh shit. I'm just dropping my controller. Gobble go. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go back to the village, but I can just do this. Yes. I think my favorite part of this game is that atmosphere feeling of it. Like, just like the little slice of life quests. Um, I mean, I overall enjoyed the story of this game. I don't make it sound like I didn't enjoy the story. This story is actually really good. It ranks up there. Um, for me. But... No, I don't want to trade. Shit. I to get items. How much does a metal coat cost? It costs a thousand. I only have eight. Five. Sweet. I could probably find one faster. Um... Yeah, I could probably find one faster. I'm sorry, uh, what was I saying? The, the slice of life stuff that was really cool in the overall story. It's it's atmosphere, ultimately, which is the point I'm getting at. It's tone, like... It doesn't matter if, like, it's not necessarily graphically amazing, because that aspect of it is there. There's, like, a certain amount of that. Uh, story stuff's happening, sorry. <laughs> well done! I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to his Suey's people. Now he's gonna tell me what a piece of shit I am. <laughs> so dude, this is, now he's gonna tell me what a piece of shit I am. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team. Yeah, I've served them admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. Yeah, other frenzies. He does say you're an asset. I, I did notice that. He said I was an asset, so I guess to a certain extent he's praising me. But in low-key the most, like, not even low-key, just like in straight-up the most, like, passive-aggressive way possible. <laughs> oh, God. Lavinson's voice was hard. Because it, it's like Volos, but it differs. Benio Chum, the usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd love that you'd recommend, by all means bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here. He's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against that cleaver. I dare say Giuseppe is I dare say Giuseppe was well prepared. 
pretend he was a quick study of how Clevo moved in battle from what I heard. All in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned. <clears throat> oh God, let me see, right? We, we can... <laughs> There was like a specific tone to it too, I just don't remember. We can feel safer. We can feel safer going out our survey corps duties now. Thanks to your efforts. Oh by the way. Oh yeah, I was glad yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh by the way, why not try crafting some of these? I made the recipe based on directions. Benny gave me. You obtained a recipe for crafting smoke bombs. Great. Lovely. And now we will not now we will need not worry about being mauled by Cleaver, either. Let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the obsidian field lands their home. It's hard. It's hard voice. Giuseppe, I've been waiting for you, Giuseppe. My name's Besso. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? That's not creepy at all. Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. Kasui is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone, and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, Giuseppe, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Just tell me what to do. What if I said I don't believe her? <laughs> Should have said that. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Oh, so she's talking about spirit tomb. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across Hisui. A hundred and seven of them in total. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? Lovely. It has to give me tutorial for a side quest. See that flame hovering over there? Try touching. I mean, really? Like... <laughs> I'm glad they didn't... I will say this is one thing I didn't... They didn't do in Scarlet and Violet. Whereas, like... Because, like, what are the, the, the fucking seals that you have to collect throughout Paldea? They don't give any context for you. You just interact with them, and then it just happens. Like, you don't have to go through a tutorial for said quest line. I mean, there is sort of, like, an intro, quote-unquote. But it more or less, like, I don't know. It's, yeah. I feel like it does it better, basically, is the point I'm getting at. That's my personal opinion, I guess. Yeah. Creepy little girl. The next day. The next day. The next day. <laughs> Wow, that, oh, that Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. 
Oh, hey, you're Giuseppe, the boy who quelled Cleaver, aren't you? Who's to say? You can't fool me. You've got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you've quelled one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kinda scared of you doing something so bold. I'm Arezu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, snip! But I came to talk to your Mr. Kamado. See you round. Arezu's predicament. Wow, we just unlocked a fuck ton of quests, didn't we? Talk to me, old. So, can I actually, like, get a haircut? Okay, cool, sweet. I'll change my swag a little bit. Let's do some fashion souls. <laughs> let's do some, uh, let's get some drip. First, we start with the hair. What does this look like? Messy ponytail. I mean, this is. Kind of what my hair looks like now, but not really. Curled, okay. I mean, that's also my hair. I feel like I tie my hair up, but I don't feel like the ponytail is so long. <laughs> so I would say curled. I mean, yeah, that's correct. Oh, we can do black. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's better. Don't look so gray. I know I'm getting gray hairs, but jeez. I don't need to show it in the game. Look at that. You look simply wonderful. Lovely! Here's your hat then, dear. Thank you for coming in today. There you go. That's sweaty. Boom, baby. That already is, like, so much better. I like that look. But now, let's see if we can get a better outfit. A special parcel? <gasps> for moi? Oh, I get the modern stuff. What a precious gift, indeed. Um, well, shit. I didn't know I had that stuff. I can change into that shit. The modern jacket, the modern trousers, the modern shoes. With no hat. At that. Um. I don't know. She probably has a better hat. Yeah, I want to go with that outfit. Because I'm modern. <laughs> Swagalicious. Alright. Talk to me, bitch. You're passionate about fashion, yes. Oh, I gotta get a hip hop hip hop anonymous. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. They give you like a really ugly kimono for that. I do remember this. Yeah, what can you um buy clothing is what I wanted to do. Um a cap might look good on him. Oh the woven hat. I do like this one. Just because if you get, like, the right set with it, it looks really cool. I could do a headband. It's very simple. But I feel like it also works. I kind of like the white one, though. It almost looks like a... Fucking, um... Ruby and Sapphire's, like, the, like, hat that he wears. Kind of. 
It kind of reminds me of it, I guess. I don't. I don't know how, but <laughs> it just somehow does. Oh, I forgot about word ears. Word ears looks kind of cool. Oh, Cyndaquils looks cool though. I like Cyndaquils. Ooh, that one's kind of neat looking. I just take the front of all of the fancy ones, so. Um. Yeah, what do you got over here? Karate. Gee. Could be a martial artist, bitch. Um, cool. I wear glasses, so I feel like I should wear glasses in this. What a dork! <laughs> I don't like how there's no, like, it's weird to me that there's no, like, things to hold it on. It's literally just on your nose. Yeah, it's like rested on my nose. It looks weird. Hmm. I also like just the flat cap. Like, that looks... Pretty clean, in my opinion. Ah, there we are then. I don't like the glasses. <laughs> I don't like the glasses. I mean, that's fine. I don't really need it. That's what I change his eyes. What does pale blue look like? Ooh, that looks eerie. Spoopy. What else do I have? Um, poppy red. What is that? Oh, fucking creepy! Yellow green. Ultramarine. Lavender ice. What does white look like? Oh, God. Dude, that's kind of weird. That's kind of unsettling looking. It just says white eyes. What about yellow? Now, I kind of like yellow, because it does it's unsettling, but it's, like, not creepy. I mean, it's creepy because it's yellow. Not the most natural-looking thing. I want to see if you can dye your hair, although I think you have to pay in order to do the hair cutting. I don't think it refunds you. But maybe it does. I don't know. I'll leave the hair. Talk to me, man. You got a mini game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's do it. I have a feeling my playthrough of this is going to take a long ass time because it's just going to be a lot of this meandering. Whee! 
That just means a lot of content lined up. <laughs> Break 10,000? You bet I am. Oh, I think I can do this easy. Oh my god, I might actually do it, guys. I might actually do it first try. Oh my god! That's crazy! That's crazy! 12,000! Fucking 13,800? Hell yeah! Fucking give me those prizes. You get the real prize. Nugget. And a, and 15 great balls? That's actually good. Okay. Yeah, okay. I know. Cool. I'm such a tryhard. <laughs> Alright, let's go do the, the, the main stuff. I also thought I could do like a whole uh, fucking Xehanort thing. I could give him white hair. <laughs> Yeah. Could give him white hair and then get the black flat cap. Just inverse the colors. Let's do it. I'm spending all the money on this. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, dude, I'll take a seat. There it is. White. I actually don't like it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I almost like that better. I gotta change the eyebrows, though. Mm, nah, it just makes him look old. Wow, that shit still makes you pay. Oh, that was a waste. That's annoying. <sighs> Bitch, you can't refund me. Okay. I feel like also the white cap matches the outfit better. There's that aspect of it too. It's like the shading of that cap fits this outfit a little bit better. Well, the brightness on the white matches the shoes that are shiny. Um, it also matches kind of the lighter shades. While the back of the cap matches the darker shade. Uh, what am I doing? Getting side quests is what I'm doing. Because these are probably side quests that you can do in the Crimson Mirelands, too. You there, valued customer. Wouldn't you rather have more wares to choose from? It would be nice. That it would. Unfortunately, Tao Hua 
and refuses to provide me with any new goods to offer. You won't listen to a word I say, so would you please try to persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring him some hearty grains as a token of goodwill. Two or three stocks ought to do it, but I'd make it three to play it safe. Getting a hold of new wares. Hearty grains. Okay. Oh, you're the boy from the Survey Corps, aren't you? Thank goodness. Could you fetch a plant for me? I need to use it to make medicine. The plant has... I'm after has three leaves and it tastes bitter enough to make you dizzy. Unfortunately, I don't know where it grows. Try asking Anise from the Medical Corps. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. She better. I want those flip- like, I want those sandals. The fucking sock sandals? That's what I want. I want to get those. Although, I like the modern outfit. It looks weird in the setting. <laughs> it looks so weird in the setting, but I like it. Hey, you're in the Survey Corps, ain't ya? Just the feller I was looking for. I'm working to make these er fields bigger, but the ground sure is hard to plow. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. I'm looking for someone to lend a hand. More fields means more food, which means everyone's happy, including the Survey Corps. We're all in this together, after all, right? We're all in this together. As we know. I get copyright stricken. <laughs> Fucking Disney comes after me. <laughs> oh, as if they don't have enough, right? I mean, what? Do I have a girl? Uh, technically do. But I don't know, is that going to take away from mine? Like, am I giving it to him? Or is he... Oh, he's borrowing it. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I guess you can borrow her. Never mind. It said give up. I don't like that. I'm not giving up Boulder. I'll catch a hip-hop anonymous. I mean, you can have that. There's plenty of ground type where I'm about to go. <sighs> All right, so no. All right, so let me look at the request. So, Starly, do I have that? I might. Let's go talk to this bitch. Maybe. I haven't completed it yet. Damn. All right, well, let me see. Um, I just don't want to get backed up on these, because then you have, like, a fuck ton to do left, and it's like, I don't like that. <laughs> Catch a big weasel and give it to Dorian. I don't know if I have a big weasel. Uh, very helpful. I need some orange berries I don't have. Geodude, I can do that one. Bother some Bidoof. Oh, fuck that one. I don't want to do that one. The Mysterious Willow the Wisp. Plowing fields, getting all the new wares, don't have that. Ask Anise about the materials that are needed for the medicine. Wisps. I don't have the completed one for Charon or Cricket Tot. I don't have a springy mushroom or a pokeshi doll. Okay, got it. So let's go. Let's go give the Gia dude first, and then we'll go talk to Anna, Anise, Anis, Anise, Anis. I don't know. To one of these houses. So don't you just love the fact that you can go in all of these houses?
take. Are you sure you want to give up this Pokemon? Sure. She can have this ugly ass thing. I have a shiny Golem. A shiny Golem. That I specifically have reserved a box for. In Scarlet and Violet. And the box is just straight up called Turd. Because that's how much I dislike that Pokemon. It's so ugly. Also, it's shiny looks like a turd. It's just sent to storage, right? Alright. New request, new request. Oh boy. We gotta go get him! I also miss being able to do this in the new games. Like, the new games, the new game. Like, this is fun. Like, doing this. But it's like the role in Legend of Zelda, right? You you know, you watch people play Twilight Princess and they're just rolling everywhere. This is fun. Like, what other explanation do you need? It's something can be very simple and fun. Like, flying around. Like, that's always fun. Oh, hey, survey guy. Know what you need to do to be a super awesome member of the Galaxy team? Be wicked smart! Nope. I mean, I guess that's also important. <laughs> but you also need to have a partner Pokemon. With a great partner Pokemon backing you up, you'll be as strong as a hundred people. I really want to catch a Pokemon of my own someday. So I've been throwing balls. Throwing, yeah, throwing balls to get my aim spot on. Yeah, I mean, aiming your balls is really important. Now I think I'm ready to practice with real Pokeballs. I bet you have loads of them. Oh, believe me, I have loads of balls. Since you're in the Survey Corps and all, do you think you could give me just five of your Pokeballs, please? I'd be happy to give you five balls. That's fine. That's an easy quest. You just give up five of your balls. Man, I've got 20 balls. Like, I've got five balls to spare. Are you kidding? Yeah, give me five Pokeballs? Sure, yeah. Take the balls. You handed over five Pokeballs. Woohoo! Now I can catch a partner Pokemon on my own. Yeah, just make sure you aim right with those balls, because I don't want to have to keep giving out balls to you. You know, I'd like a couple for myself. I'm going to practice loads with the balls you gave me. Okay. If you find a Pokemon... That'd be a great partner for me. Let me know so I can go catch it. You gonna use your ball to catch it? That is a lot of times the most effective way for people to catch a partner is through the use of their balls. Um, tends to be very effective. Some people don't like it. You know, some people think it's too forward. So, but, so they just they wait till you know. Till the time is right, I think. I mean, you ultimately have to use the ball, but... So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel an aura. What is this, the friendship checker guy? <sighs> sure, let's do Cyndaquil. See how friendly my Cyndaquil is. Let me see. Do I have anybody else? What about uh, these mom that I transferred? I bet you they hate me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I probably don't have a mom that I'm close enough with. Alright. Now, where's Annis? 
Or Anise, rather. Okay, there's a character in a game that I've played, and they call her... It's Anise, but they call her Anise, and it just has screwed me up forever. No, it was right there. Search for bitter leaves. There we go. And then we'll check out this new map. I would love to see a side quest system like this in the new games, too. Pokemon that lives in the Crimson Islands? Sure. Pokemon with three leaves? What's that? Pokemon with three leaves. Oddish? Just Oddish, right? That's gotta be what they're talking about. Oddish. I feel like, though, that can describe a couple of Pokemon. Hmm. No, I gotta go talk to Kamado first. So he can tell me what a piece of shit I am, again. I think he does it like every single time you talk to him, he just says you're a stranger if you're in a foreign land and stuff like that. What did these guys sell? Rare wares. Well, we got some great. You know. space in their satchel. I don't know, anybody that understands that it's too much to maintain? <laughs> Anyone that understands that it's cumbersome to have a large <laughs> satchel? And uh, the fact that understanding also that you have unlimited storage space that you can access in the open world, like, the fuck would I do that? Wait a minute, what, where they at? Why does it say they're out here? Oh, this is this is side quest. I see. Wait a minute. Is it tracking the side quest? Is that why? Okay. That's why. Track this. There we go. That's why I was confused. Played a magic trick on myself. All right, Cowboy Kamado. Hmm. So it's come to Ursa Luna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can be frenzied. I have received no word from Adaman or Irida, but this is some, something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Miss Erezu. You did not, you did well to inform us of Ursa Luna's situation. No problem. Adam has got his hands full running our clan off, and Ursa Luna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the galaxy teams, the only ones I could turn to about this. Ursa Luna's warden is Mistress Kalaba of the Pearl Clan. 
Is it not? Of all the wardens, she is the most narrow-minded. <clears throat> I mean, bound by tradition. She likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. And yet, somehow, she's not the most one. I have a new mission for you, Giuseppe. I, no, I should have him say it wrong, yeah? Guizeppi. Guizeppi. I order you to study Ursa Luna in the Crimson Mire lands. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. The next area you will be sent to investigate is the Crimson Wildlands. I will find the Pokemon living here to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Given the landscape is itself harsher, with steep ravines and seaside cliffs, it is not awakening. You must be a second star to face the Mildlands. Complete research tests and then blah, 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 go crying, basically. Okay, great. Alright. I just wanted to get to that part, so now at least the progress I'm doing will be measured. Can get the cutscenes out of the way too. Alright. Heading outside the village? Hell yeah! No, no, you can't see me. I was like, that's, there's no way in hell. Oh god, jeez, that's crazy. Oh, now, he, now she's... Nice. Uh, sometimes I just will waste the Pokeball instead of, like, doing something like throw a mud ball or something. I was like, sometimes I just want to trigger a noise to get them to go somewhere. And it's just faster to use up a Pokeball for that. Because to toggle through all of this super quickly is incredibly annoying. <laughs> to try and toggle through it, I should say, super quickly is very annoying. Versus where I could just throw the ball instead of trying to pull out a Mud Ball. Although in this instance it is faster because it's literally right next to it. You guys can't see it, but... <laughs> oh, that's funny, though. I do want it to stop moving. Damn, that failed tremendously. That's okay, though. And sometimes it's easier to just aim with them 
in my opinion. Yeah, they're fucking tripping me up though, man. I'm okay with that. That's fine. <laughs> there we go. Does it just leave it, or... Oh, it does... It does leave it. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. Alright, fuck it, I'll fight it. Fuck it, I'll fight it! I don't mind! Hitting it with a little ember! It is amazing how that's not really super effective at, you know, grinding levels up, I should say. Um, let's see what else we got. Give me them leaks. Give me them leaks. Give me them leaks. <gasps> it won! Yo. And Eve, why? Yo, let's see if I can catch him. Right there. Yeah, no, you know what? I'm gonna throw a, a Pokemon in it. Oh, yes! Okay, good. That's gonna be easier. Mm. I was about to say, I was like, I don't, I think it's just gonna, yeah, it's gonna run away. Shit. Well, that sucks. That's not gonna work for that thing. Damn, that's a rare encounter, too. That sucks. Oh, well. Though, I'm sure another one will show up. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Fucking get in the ball! Oh, come the fuck on. Ugh.
or she plays. When do you get the shiny quest? I want that quest. Yo, how high level is this alpha? I don't know. I don't really have like a high level walk. Well, weasel. Weasel! I don't think that would really be a good idea though. I think it's like level 20. It's like level 20-ish or something. I don't know. It might be only level 15, but I'm just not sure. So I don't want to take that gambit and be wrong. Talk to me, bitch. Let's get some else. See if I can catch some on somewhere else. I'll tell you what, let's cross the river! I told you it would happen again. I told y'all it would happen again. Oh, God. Ugh. Um, Agile style. Quick attack. Move out the way. It's not very unfair, but... Agile style. I probably could have just used regular one, but... There we are then. I stalks his pride. Look alone. In the staring galley. I do like the art style, like it almost looks like a clay model. Yeah. It's like when you get wet, yeah. I think that's kind of cool. That was a big star leader that I just threw a ball at. Did it. 
Give me this plant, whatever it is. Pep up plant? Hell yes. One second. Sorry, folks. That was weird. I heard like a big bang all of a sudden, and then I was like, what the fuck was that? And so I had to go see what it was. I thought it was like some shit. Um, I saw a Togepi? What? I'm sorry, what is this? Oh, this is the fucking Pokedex. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, dude, that, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> I literally just heard like a loud bang, and I was like, whoa, what was that? It was nothing, though. Her fucking, uh... Soap fell in the shower. <laughs> and just made a really loud noise. Don't drop the soap, folks. I've caught a lemon! Oh, yes. Give me my XP. Give me my XP and money. So that I might get more drip. Sweet. How close am I with Cricketide? Oh man. 
Yeah, let's catch some more. Especially if I don't level up, because I don't know if this is going to hold me up. Yeah, let's go catch some more cricket. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I think the file in my other game is like a ridiculous amount of time. Yeah, it's like hundreds of hours into this game. It's like 400 hours or something. I mean, that's about what I have in um, Scarlet and Violet is like 400 hours or so. I have a sneak. Whoa! Ah! I have a sneaking suspicion. <laughs> I, <was> have <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that Cricketai are less likely to show themselves at night. And. Oh. No, don't run from me. I'm friendly, I swear. I only wish. I only wish to study you! Gotta catch more of those. He's on the prowl. I. He's so far away. I think I need to use a feather ball. Oh god! Did I really just do that? I forgot that I had to let go of the thing in order to... Yeah, I fucked it up already. It's not gonna... He's gonna... He's gonna be hard to catch now. I've already fucked it up. Um, I actually had that sucker in. I just forgot the controls. I was like, you better give me that after all that fucking headache. Alright, let me see. Uh, you know what? Sure, let's do it. And something is behind me. Of course something was behind me attacking me. Like... <laughs> Jesus. Alright, so we use Ember. Sweet. I mean, that was smart. It's gonna use that twice, right? As see, now you've set yourself for failure. This is where it gets fun. Quick attack, Agile style. Quick attack, Agile style. I don't think this will do it again now. <laughs> then you just use Ember, yeah. At that point, because that'll kill it. Yeah. <laughs> it's ensuring it, yeah. It's like kind of nice. I bet you it was Ember, so that's fantastic. I could have caught it, and it probably would have been smarter to do that, but I also would have risked dying. I think when my Pokemon get higher level, or when they evolve, I think it would be a good idea to do that. Start catching those things, but I think right now just beating them is probably a good goal. But trying to catch them, no, that's going to be hard. I don't even know if it lets you catch Pokemon that are high level. Like, it may be that it, like, stops you from doing that. Sure, let's see what this does. No matter. I mean, it gets some XP. 
gets him closer to that level up. I will say, let me see what items I have I can use potentially for that. I do have a rare candy, I can use that. Sucker on him. He can't level up yet, though. I bet you he's like a level 17 or level 18 level. Like, I mean, evolve. I bet you it takes a minute. That's alright, my man Syndicals got this shit on block. He's spoopy like that. Oh, I was bitching about how, like, I wouldn't have, um... I was, like, complaining about that. I was like, oh, man, I'm not gonna have, uh, what's it called on my team? Houndoom. Because he's not in this game. Um, but no. Uh, I should very well be able to get... Because I have Syndicals. Syndicals fixes that problem. Instead of Fire Dark, though, it's Fire, uh, whatever. <laughs> fire Ghost, smart one. Fire Ghost. Wow, this, it really was like the renaissance for Fire. Like, just like a fuck ton of, like, new typings for them. It was like water, like Fire Ghost. Fire Psychic. Not, it's not necessarily like new typings, but just more, more of the typings that you wouldn't necessarily associate as average typings, I guess. Have they done Fire Electric yet, though? See, that's the one I really want. I want that Fire Electric. I want that Plasma. I mean, I just feel like that that's going to be so cool when they do that. And it's just going to be such a cool typing. I think it has a quad weakness, though. That's the only issue. No, get away from that, Alpha. We are not fighting that. Oh, hello there! Hello there! General Kenobi! That was hysterical, what just happened. I overshot that Krikatot in a way to where it actually hit him in the back. <laughs> I don't know if it was like... I'll have to look at that later. I think that's what happened. Jeez. That's cool. Oh, yeah, the uh, fucking Krikatoon. I... I really like the design of this mod, but it sucks. Like, bug types to me are really cool, and they suck. Like, just aesthetically, they're cool, but they are not good, <laughs> historically. I feel like that would have been a good opportunity to empower them when they introduced Fairy-type, like they did with Poison. Just make Bug-type good against Fairy-type as well. Yeah, and then you keep that, like, resistance that, um, what's it called has. Oh, shit. That's an alpha. That's an alpha. Nature's Pantry. Alright, alright. Nature's Pantry. I'm gonna catch that thing. That sounds like a need to. That always cracks me up that a Parasex cry is very similar to a Mewtwo's cry. Alright, okay, you know what? Fuck it. Fine. Maybe some other time. 
I want to talk to this dude up here. The cool outfit. It looks like he's from space. I do like the Pearl Clan outfit because it looks like it's space. <laughs> it looks like a space suit. It looks so ridiculous. Oh shit. I did exactly what the game told me not to do. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Where the fuck did this guy come from? Oh my god, that's crazy. What level is he? 25? Fuck me, dude. I mean, he's gonna hit a bunch. Yeah. Oh, no, he's not. That's hysterical. I could do a strong style or an agile style with it. But then he's gonna move twice. I would rather just do a regular ender and see what that does, and then base the next decision on that. Okay, it's alright. Nice! Way to go! Way to go. Oh, dang, man. So you... Dang, man. I really hate this. Um, okay, hold on. Oh, you know what I can do? And why isn't this favorited? This should be favorited. Oh, wow. Okay, so you just have to straight up get rid of something. Uh, well, let's do Grit Dust, I guess. Let's start using this shit. We'll do, uh... We'll do some special attack. And... Hip. There we go. And then we'll use the crafting kit. <sighs> to craft 17... I'm sorry, 3 Pokeballs. Three revives. And we're still full up. Great. Um, I don't know. A part of it, too, is I feel like I don't use any of these, like, spoiled ap apricot apricorns, so discard. Just kind of like three of those. I do want to keep that because I think it's used for something. I think that's used for a quest. This just needs to be sold. I wish I could just send this to storage. And, uh... I don't... yeah. Great. <laughs> Awesome. Cool. Um, these are so easy to get, so I'm okay with using the potion. 
and then we'll use this on Cyndaquil. And now he can evolve! Yay! Give me that shit. Give me that. Give me that Quillava. That's so fire looking like. <laughs> Typhon. That's the name I have for him. Typhon. Doofus. Doofus. Uh... Yes. Get back to you in a second. Um... Hmm. I don't know, I gotta think about that one. Drip Lord. <laughs> Drip Lord. Uh... Oh, I can't change his name. Doesn't let me. Interesting. Oh, because it's a trade, I guess. Yeah. That's why. Alright. My old dust talks. I don't know what to name you. Mainly because I don't think you're going to stay. I just, you're the least likely to. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, the thing about the feather balls that I've always noticed is that you really have to, I feel like you really have to be targeting them on in order for it to actually hit. And they can't be moving. They can't be moving and you have to target them because it just overshoots them otherwise. Anyway. Alright, let's go to see how we're doing in the progress for this shit. Oh, this is a Parasect. This is like Alpha Parasect, if I remember correctly. Hey! Cricketune! Let me, let me see if I have my hand at cr catching a cricket in there. That would be cool. Uh, I'm certainly not going to use a cricket talk, so... Fucking get in the ball, you piece of shit. Thank you. That's what I thought. Nice. 
Nice. At least you caught it. Alright, cool. What was the new move it learned? Let me see. Oh, that's a good move for it to know. Flame move. Maybe that's a mostly special attack. Man. You can still use it. Kind of. Kind of. I, I don't know. I mean, in this game, it's not... The split is not necessarily as decisive. If that makes any sense. It's easier to do mixed attackers, because you basically can just train everything. I mean, you're not really training it for competitive play. You're training it for the overworld and shit. And I just don't know. I don't remember if there's really that many things in the <laughs> in the game that like push the challenge to that point. I think you do. No, that's right. They did. They added that thing. Um, after you beat the final boss. That's right. I remember. Um, you good, sir. I caught 11 Pokemon last time. Nice. Nice. If that don't level me up, I'd be very surprised. Barely. Splendiferous! Return to the village. Right! -o. do that now though. I think I can turn in this quest I know. This lady. Where's the other one? Cricket top is the other one. Yeah dude. You didn't know that? So the markings on their forehead are different sizes? Incredible Thank you for letting me read its Pokedex entry. Catch one and bring it to me. Sure. Yeah. I just caught a shit ton of them. Do you want the one? <laughs> Do you want that one? Which one you want? I guess she can have a lady for a lady. The smooth curl of the feather on its head, those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Well, hello there, Starly. You wanna pet it? No! <laughs> I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it after all. Besides, it might lose some move. Who outside of the Survey Corps or the Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I must thank you for showing me the sweet Starly. Some people will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might put them more at ease. Cool. I don't remember where that other one is. Let me see. Yeah.
the timber of the fields. I kind of want to turn in this quest and I'm not going to this location. I hope I went to the right camp. I just forgot that it's here. Yeah, it's right here. You've completed Krigatok's Pokedex page. Great. Quickly now, let me have a look. Oh, so Krigatok produced that curious sound of theirs by hitting their antennae together. Hmm, I wonder if Anvin from the Supply Corps could put, some, could put together an instrument with a similar shape to those antennae. Well, for now, thank you for going out of your way to solve this tonal enigma. Here, take these. Cool. To complete a Pokedon's page in your Pokedex, you need to catch and battle that species over and over, right? Gosh, you're such a hard worker. Okay. Alright, talk to me, bish. Talk to me, bish. Yes. Have you made progress on your research tasks? If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Okay. okay. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems her, her voice is on you. I'm not doing that voice anymore. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Hurts my throat, that's why. It's like really high squeaky and I just can't do it anymore. I can barely do um Akari's voice. With this, you have officially attained the rank of second star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Feather Balls! Pokemon up to level 30 will obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn from your survey reports will be more generous, too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. You obtained a recipe for crafting feather balls. You obtained a recipe for crafting super potions. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mirelands. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place called the Silesian Ruins. That's where you'll find Ursa Luna's Warden. Great. Let's do it. Isn't Volo here, too? Hey, don't we meet up with Volo again? Oh, here's a card. We get a fun little scene with the card. <coughs> Hello, Giuseppe. I was just getting the itch to battle with you. And now here you are. It must be a sign. You're right. Let's have a flying battle so I can go closer with Pikachu. Survey Corps, Akari challenge you to a battle. Sent out Mime Jr. Alright. Mmm.
That's how physical damage dealings I go. I feel like this would be more effective at dealing just raw damage. Apparently this is not going to do anything. It might help set up. That's true, it might help set up. For later parts of the battle, right? Oh, suck my diglet. No. But I can use strong style without penalty. Which is ultimately what I'm gonna do. Damn, dude, you got me with that one. Uh, because I don't think he's gonna live the next wave of attacks. I just don't, so I'm okay with it. It's, a, it's an inevitable trade-off, if that makes any sense. Yeah, see, that was worth it. That was very worth it. That was very worth it, actually, because he used strong style quick attack, so it's, it's not going to be a penalty to this. And it didn't even kill me. That was easy. Oops! I keep finding myself caught in observing the way the Pokemon uses their moves. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I have a uh, barrel now. Pikachu may not be very happy with me after that. <laughs> Thank you for battling with me. Here, I have this new recipe. Stone spray? Oh, snap! So I've been working on studying those strange space-time distort- Oh, wait, that's not a so I've been working on studying the strange space-time distortions. <laughs> Did you know the one? Do you know the ones I mean? They've been appearing here and there lately. It seems like they hold wonderful items, but frightfully strong Pokemon too. You plan to go into one? Be careful about it. Now, time to head to the Mirelands camp. Mass outbreaks. Shit's opening up finally. We're getting this. We're getting a lot of the really cool features of this game with the mass outbreaks and the space-time distortions. I think they just need to put in more shit like that, and that'll just make exploration really fun because it's dynamic, right? It happens randomly. All you have to do is just explore and catch on, and eventually you'll, those things will come around. Like, and the mass outbreaks give you a reason to go out exploring and catch shit. So while you're doing that, a space-time distortion will appear, and you go do that, and then come back and do the mass outbreak. Like, it's just... Although you only have a limited time to do some of that stuff, yeah. But... Yeah, 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 we gotta go to Slacy on Ruins. For now, I'll keep searching for those space-time distortions. There's a little way of knowing when or where one might appear, but I'll do my best. It sure would be handy if my map could tell me. Space-time distortions are dangerous places. Yes, I know what they are. I'm counting on you both. Hold on. <laughs> I'm counting on you both. Both of you to carry out your survey work as best you can. Please be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If wild Pokemon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain Zizu teach your Pokemon some strong moves. Righto, then. That graceful Pokemon. Hey there, you're that go-getter from the Survey Corps, right? I have a request for you if you've got some time. 
I love to know more about a Pokemon called Roselia. Oh, the irony. <laughs> it has three gorgeous red and blue flowers for hands. Such a graceful Pokemon. I often come to the Golden Lowlands to admire the Roselia, but just keep watching them for ev from afar isn't enough for me anymore. Do you think you could complete Roselia's page in that Pokedex of yours and show it? Yeah, sure. Crimson Mire Lanes annoys me because there's a lot of water terrain like that. And without Basket Legion, it's really annoying to navigate. In my IMO. IMO. Also love how big this ruin is and not this big in the game. Calaba of the Bow Clan. What in Calaba to you? No. Now would you look at that? You have a Celestica flute. You must be the one that fell out of the space time rift. That's right. I see, I see. I have already heard about you, that you quelled Cleaver in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions. But I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. What you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission, after all. And you run around catching Pokemon up in those little balls, Blue Carry. I don't need any help from your sort, or the Diamond Clan for that matter. That young lazy. Arezu offered to help, but associating with the Diamond Clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. There is much I must do, and I prefer not to be distracted any further. What a bitch. <laughs> ah! Giuseppe, how about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? Um, I'm, I'm a bit busy right now. Who knows when I'll get the chance next? Please, I ask you face me now. Wow, he actually has, like, high-level Pokemon. Or higher-level motherfuckers. I'm also probably just behind in leveling, too. There is that aspect. <laughs> yeah. I hate when it doesn't give me any things like I need. It'll give me an advantage next turn. Because I'll move that extra time back up. Wow. Oh, actually, I can just use quick attack and it will do it. Yeah. Although, arguably, if I use two agile styles, I could net three turns, potentially. I'm gonna try and do that.
I love how, like, the way that you can manipulate turn order in this game makes moves like Quick Attack so much better. It just straight up makes them better. Like, because now what I've done is I've set myself up to where if I use a strong style Ember, it's not going to penalize me. See? It's just like, that's to me is a really cool interaction. I'd love to see them continue to, to have stuff like that. Oh, no. Of course, the Gibble. Um, I don't... I mean, this is a great chance to learn that I need something effective against the Garchomp, so... Alright, Drip Lord. Let's see what you got. He's got pre I mean, like, Aqua Jet and stuff like that will definitely be helpful. He's faster, significantly. I don't know. I could do this. I could do this. 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 Uh, use an Agile style one. See what happens. I'm trying to see if I can net three attacks. I'm already starting at two. So I already have the advantage. Yes. Honestly, how many times I can do that? Probably only twice. I like how he shows his crotch to the enemy when he does that, too. Um, like, why? <laughs> but now I can do a strong style off of Jets and not be penalized for it. It just becomes like a matter of manipulating turn order, you know? Which is really fun, in my opinion. It's really fun, too, because, like, they... AI sort of kind of is better in this one. It's not great. None of, none of the AI is great, but... A little bit better in this one in terms of it knows how to manipulate that turn order. It just could be that the fact that they've added that depth to it. That extra bit of depth to it, but... Yeah, I mean, I like the fact that you can see it and manipulate it. It's definitely fun. I mean, Ominous, Ominous Wind is more powerful, and it would raise my defensive stats. Potentially. I like the secondary effect of this more. On the off chance that it doesn't knock out the Gibble. Man, that was good! I also feel like with candies, like, there's not as big of a penalty of, like, getting a Pokemon knocked out, because you can just catch them up with candies. I don't know. Wall fragments? Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Silesian ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. <laughs> Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? They are a trio of bandits that have even hit us, Ginkgo, guild merchants, more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Mistress Calaba is doing everything she can to regain the fragment, but at 99 years old. She's 99 years old? My grandmother didn't even live to that age. Like, she lived to 98. And she was blind and deaf. And this bitch right here is 99 years old and looking after an entire set of ruins all on her own. It's a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. <laughs> so, what do you say, kind sir? Why not 
help find the fragment for the warden. Oh, naturally, I'll be happy to lend you a hand. Those sisters swiped my wares too, and I'm no Jinko, guild merchant, if I take that line down. And far be it from me to let them just get away with vandalizing the precious ruins of this region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Myelands camp. Perhaps worth checking out. Oh, it just says the same thing. Okay. Ninety-nine years old. Yes. I had a grandmother who lived to ninety-eight. She was blind and deaf at ninety-eight. And this chick is ninety-nine years old, taking care of an entire ancient ruined shrine. I still can't get over that. Still can't get over that. That's just insane. And look, y'all may be sitting there and it's like, it's no good for you to do. I'm sorry that I'm easily impressed. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's just, it's wild. Like, and they just drop it. Like, they don't even, like, 99 years old, and then they just go on to the next thing. It's like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> We're not just going to talk about the fact that this woman is ancient. <laughs> like, she's almost in the triple digits. Like, <laughs> oh, God, what do I do for voices for these ladies? Okay, wait a minute, I got it. There's only one reason people go poking around here. In the middle of nowhere, you're after us three, aren't you? Uh, sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly before we show this poor fellow how wrong he was to assume he could ever beat us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest. I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seeing double. I'm the middle sister. I'm clover. You can't pick. <laughs> it's I win and tails you lose. You got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not <laughs> your good luck piece. We're the infamous bandit trio. <laughs> Let me handle this, sisters. I only hurt him a little. <clears throat> Come on, Toxicroak. Let's douse this fool in poison. Let's kiss him! In case anyone didn't get a reference, I was doing a, a really bad Canker Sisters impression. That in my That show is like a fever dream that that was like, <laughs> like, that's crazy that that was made for kids. I mean, it's effectively just trailer park boys for kids. Mm, yeah, we're gonna have to sacrifice Typhoon. Well, first off, the fact that the Canker Sisters are named up Canker Sores is weird. Um, 
Like, there's 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 a few things in that show where I'm like, damn, dude, how did this get past censors? Like, <laughs> yeah, because like you know that like it had to go past somebody. Like, that had to be approved by somebody. You know, kind of mentality. Like, <laughs> this is wild, man. Some like you see some of that stuff in those old shows from like the nineties. But anyway, I'm not doing that impression again. <laughs> I can't. Especially this one. Uh, I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the galaxy team. Oh, okay. I keep forgetting to evolve that Bidoof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, give me the fragment. Man, we are riding some kind of treasure. Tell me. What were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? I can't do that. I can't do the main sister. That's, like, too hard. <laughs> I want to help Kalaba. Sure. <gasps> Goodness! How selfless of you. To go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Hmm. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. Now I've got a score to settle with the Galaxy Team, which now includes you. Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it, in days of spring beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty, your days are also numbered. Galaxy food. Yeah, I can't do that voice. That's hard. That's hard. Man, I can't do impressions. Pikachu only belongs in Pokeball. It's the best thing that fits it. If I was catching a Pikachu in like a raid, which I think I did do this, I would just catch it in Pokeball. Yeah. I would just catch it in Pokeball. I just think it's cool. Like, it's fitting for it because it's, you know. It's fitting. I mean, it's just, it's the Pokemon, so it belongs in the Pokeball. Like, you know? It's like Charizard, too. Like, I almost want to put Charizard in just a regular Pokeball. Because he's the Pokemon. Like, it's just... If you really want to be a tryhard, you can try to get your Mewtwo in a Pokeball, too. Like, any of those, like, original 151, like, it just feels like they should be in a regular Pokeball. Like, try putting Voltorb, unless it's shiny, try putting Voltorb in anything but a Pokeball. Like, come on, man. You got it. <laughs> it just fits so perfectly. It matches it. Now, if you catch the shiny, you have to catch it in a different Pokeball. I mean, I would say you catch it in, like, a Netball or something. Maybe. Net. You could do like a, a great ball too for that. I don't know. What other blue balls are there? What other? I, you know. I feel like there's more than just those blue balls. Those two. I feel like there are multiple blue balls. And I'm just not thinking of. But she's given the Pearl Clan all she has, ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Sui region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. 
Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm Ursaluna's frenzy, which is epic. A raging Pokemon in the area simply won't do for business, I assure you. I like the weird purple coloration too when it's nighttime. I don't know why. There's something kind of weird looking about it. Like it's I don't think it's bad, honestly. Like I think it's it's almost like something creative. Like it's a little artsy esque. No, it's it's like almost like they put a purple outline with the lighting. Like I don't know, it's something kinda of cool. I got it. Like, I was thinking about this with this game. Like, there's certain things in this game, I feel like, that are unintentionally cool looking. Like, low-key, I kind of like it when you're staring out in the distance and you see a Pokemon that's flying, but it's not... It's going... It's almost like it's lagging, but there's something kind of cool about it unintentionally. Yeah. It's definitely a glitch. It's definitely not supposed to look like that, right? But it's it ultimately you're like, oh, that's definitely not supposed to look like that, but it actually looks kind of cool. You kind of just like, that's, that's, that's neat. I, I don't know if it's like draw distance, like a draw distance problem, or if it's like, like, say you see like a Star Arabia and it's going like, dirt, 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 dirt. like it's doing like a, almost like a laggy movement. But to be perfectly honest, it almost looks like a moving painting when it does that, too. So it's like, I don't know, it's kind of cool looking, <laughs> in my opinion. Maybe it's just the optimist in me, but... Well, come as often as you would like, but it won't change my mind. Those three bandits. What? You went and retrieved the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that eager to call him a Saluna. If possible. I'll admit, I didn't expect anyone else to truly care for a Saluna. Well then, let me see that wall fragment. Ah, there we go. Good as new. Did you guys catch that? <laughs> Let me read what it says. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other, like how you helped retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I have truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinnoh's guidance. What is your name, then, boy? I see. Giuseppe. Please, lend me your strength so that we may help Ursaluna. It is true that Ursa Luna has become enraged, but he does not seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state, if we can just give him some medicine. I could never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can rely on you for, right? Oh, okay, so you'll just... <laughs> You don't want to do it, so you just delegate it to me. Got it. <laughs> Ursa Luna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're all ready. Sure. Sludge Mound. Bitch, what'd you call me? Did you just call me a... Did she call me a Sludge Mound? Yeah, 
guy's funny, right? I think the sign of a really good joke is when you have to ask if it's funny. That's how you know. That it's really good. Especially when you have to explain the joke, too. Or, better yet, that you have to tell a follow-up joke to save the joke. Yes. That's how you really know it's funny. Talk to me, old man. What you got for me? Alona! So, you only serve a core kid that required the Lord of the Woods, are you? Think you could help me with setting up our new base camp? We're making one up by the bogs. Our Odo could show you someone as capable as you. He's a fresh construction core recruit, still learning the ropes. Setting up the bog bound camp. Sure. They did the swamp so much. This is just like so much better than the way it actually is in Sinnoh. That those two route it's like two, right? Technically. Those those rats suck though when you have to go through the swamp. And then the fucking uh Great Marsh. I hate that shit. It's so lame, yeah. Whoa there, keep your distance by the you. Just look at those bothers. Ed taking up the spot where I was going to set up days count. One stunky would give me a headache, but this group is a full-blown migraine. Maybe I can get someone else from the team to handle this. Someone good at battling. I'll drop them off. Just leave it to me. Why ask for help when you can just demand it? Oh, you have to fight three at the same time, lovely. Alright, well... Export. My friend Typhon, you will fight through this poison. Ooh, why did I send you out? Sure, let's just tackle it and see what happens. There you go. Ching Ling. Fuck yeah! Oh, that's right! I do remember that. Sleep actually is not that great in this game. I do remember this, yeah. Sleep sucks in this game. It, like, is not, like, it, they just grow drowsy. They don't... They don't actually, like... How do I switch targets? ZL. No. ZL. There you go. Um... I would say I love fast speed is the main thing. Um I would say just use Aqua Jet more now. No. 
use Aqua Jet. I hate that. It just doesn't actually put me to sleep. What was the purpose in using that move? Why does it even let you use that move twice? Why doesn't it just fail? I have to suffer through the animation twice. Wow, so really, like, getting the um, stuff like that is really the way you should go with it. Getting, like, War of Attrition, like, poison on them, because otherwise it's just completely worthless. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. And I still need to evolve that guy. Let me do that real quick. Oh, great. Now the Abinson's going to talk to me. Alright. Rest. Just still this while. Alright. Now let's evolve this fool. Do it! Barrel. The barrel. Do a the barrel roll. I guess get rid of tackle. Yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. Alright, we'll play that shit then. If you're so sure that he'll show up. Rargh! Now show your metal to Ursa Luna. Let's remember that Ursa Luna is a Pokemon very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. Okay, I just have to beat the shit out of him. Got it. Go, Typhon. He's level 26. Christ. That's alright, I think I can still get him. Let's hit him with the quick attack, agile style, because I think that'll start to stack up the deck for him. This is important. Okay. 
Um, I don't know, it doesn't seem... And he's gonna use Bulldoze, so... That's gonna lower my speed. Oh, no, he used Baby Doll on this. I mean, we already have Baby Doll on this. I'm gonna be a stronger one. Um, cool. Come on, Chingling. We got this shit. This fool ain't got nothing. Yeah! Oh, oh, really? Well, we can easily go tip for tat then. Behold, Skull Rupee. It's like it's just slash, 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 slash on like everything. <laughs> Dust talks. Confusion, strong style. Oh my god. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna win. It doesn't appear that that's gonna work now. Like... I'll tell you what, I could revive. I do have revives. Drip Lord was the fastest, so I think I'm gonna go with Drip Lord. He got that extra bit of, like, turn that no other one got, so. His speed will definitely be the thing that helps me most. Okay, so, but I can do that with Aqua Jet. Yeah. That would be with Aqua Jet. So we'll do Agile Style, hit him with that. And then close it with the Strong Style. And that's it. Damn, son. That was crazy. That was crazy. Ursaluna, my poor darling, you must be exhausted from running around like that. Please, let me make you all better. I have a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It will clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. If poison is what's causing Ursaluna's rage, this is sure to call the name down. We call it Toxigon. <laughs> Blech. It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna. You seem to have calmed down now. This is very strange, though. It wasn't glowing. Very astute of you. You're quite right. When you quelled Cleaver's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. No strange light erupted from Ursa Luna after you defeated him. Nor was he glowing. What is this? Clinging to Ursaluna's coat. Seems like some kind of powder. That girl from the Diamond Clan, Erezu. Now why did she of all people 
Fine, then you do come tell me about Ursaluna. Oh, I almost forgot something. Play your Celestic a flute, flute, for, flute, flute for me. Ursalina opened his heart and learned the sound of your playing. You received the Earth Plate from Ursalina. Ursaluna is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We say he's digging for treasure. Even if these treasures might not always glitter or gleam. Now go and let your commander know of what transpired here. Child of the Galaxy Team. Brrr. Okay. We now have the ability to summon Ursa Luno! Cool, and then I get to go back to Kamado so you can tell me what piece of shit I am. I can just walk to this camera. And I need to heal up, too, so actually it's perfect. Actually, I'm pretty sure your Pokemon heal up when you go back to town, but I don't know. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Uh, Giuseppe, I think you've got something stuck to you. Was that a Pokemon? Come to think of it, Velo did mention that there are small carvings that resembled writings on the walls. The Silesian ruins. The supposing Pokemon we just saw is a species with multiple forms. Perhaps the carvings are actually likenesses of this very Pokemon. I'm going to add a section specifically for that species to your Pokedex, Giuseppe. Unknown notes were added to your Pokedex. What's this now? Letter-like markings seem to have appeared in this section I just added. And was that your arc phone I just saw? If your mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what that could mean. I see you've caught one Pokemon. Care to report your findings? Yes. Okay. Great. What would you like to do now? Return to the village? Duh. We gotta talk to Commander Kamado so you can tell me what a piece of shit I am. Again. There you are. You better hurry to the commander's office. Oh boy. What's going on now? What's going on now? Disaster. Giuseppe, we have a situation here. Let me explain. 
Lilligant, our clan's Lady of the Ridge, is in a frenzy. And Rezu knowingly kept this from me. The Lilligan? Yes, there are only female Lilligan, which makes this honored one our Lady of the Ridge. But hey, this isn't the time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out just what Arezu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilee. Last I saw, she was at the Wallflower, polishing off a big old plate of potato mochi. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. Wow, way to, way to compliment yourself, dude. <laughs> If a Raizu, if a Raizu of the Diamond Clan was somehow involved in that situation with the, with the raging Ursaluna, with the raging Ursaluna. Involved in that situation. Oh god, I lost my place. Shit. Fuck! Alright, let me see. Let me do that again. Alright, what? Let me check the chat. I haven't been paying attention to it. Nah. Alright. Of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a sh oh, in a struggle. Oh no, that's Adamant saying that. Never mind, Adamant. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? We would be forced to remain neutral. Yeah, meaning what? If we were to show support for one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to take part in tearing the land apart. Right. Of course. After all the work you put in to get us to treat one another as equals and keep us from fighting, I suppose it is no surprise that you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Giuseppe, perhaps... You oh, no, that's right. He says his name wrong, right? <laughs> Giuseppe. <laughs> Perhaps you have some idea as to how we might address this situation. I could call Ursaluna. Ursaluna? So he and Warden Calaba found you worthy? That's perfect then. Ursaluna should be able to sniff out a Rezu wherever she's gone. If you're strong enough that Ursaluna deemed you worthy, then you should be ready to quail Lilligant's frenzy as well. I'll head to Lilligant's seat then. Brava Arena, it's called, if you'll excuse me. Listen well, Buizepi. You must quell any Pokemon that could come. <laughs> you must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of his seed. Always remember, we came to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. All right, thanks. What do you listen well? Thank you, Kamado. He didn't say I was a, a stranger, though, this time.
That's funny. We'll do that when we come back from break. But uh, this has been the first segment right here. So I think now's a good time as any to start the break. So anyway, uh, I'll be back in like 30 minutes or so. Uh, but as always, this has been your host, OG, on OG Presents, with another episode of Into the Pokerverse. It's been fun. So, latest. Peace, as always. <laughs>